Hello you guys and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how to make an iron gate. I'm using a picture from Pinterest and I saved it. Now I'm gonna go to my folder. I'm gonna click on the picture and drag and drop it to my ground floor. I'm gonna measure this gate to see if I'm happy. At 10 meters, obviously, this cannot be true. Uh, so I want to rescale the image. With the image selected, press on the keyboard Ctrl K. Uh, you will see this window about resize. Click OK. And I want to put a point here, so click to make a point. I'm holding Shift for a straight line. And here where I can see the gate ends, I'm going to make another point. Now, I think this one should be one meter and a half. So I'm pressing R on the keyboard and I'm going to put in 1.5 and enter. I don't need this dimension anymore, so I'm deleting that. And now I'm just dragging my image closer to this point, which usually means it's zero, it's very centered. All right, now using this image as a reference, I'm going to use polyline to create the frame, and then I'm going to show you how you can make this shapes very easily. So the first thing that I'm doing right now is uh, the polyline. I'm going to use a red pen because I want to see it properly. And as you see, this is one piece. So let I'm using a Geometry method rectangular. Let's see. One or two. Let's insert uh, the dimensions. So I'm pressing R. And then with uh, the arrows on the keyboard, I'm going up. I'm going to type 1.3. And I'm not pressing enter, I'm just pressing arrow down to insert uh, the other dimension. Let's put one meter and I'm pressing enter so yeah of course this is not one meter so I'm um, I'm clicking here on this edge of the polyline and I am I want to drag this little window appears with all my options and I'm going to use offset edge I'm going up to I'm going to make it 1.5, so I need to add 0.5 now. So if you just type 0.5, you don't have to press R, you have this. Now, I would like to make this curve. So I'm dragging again uh, the edge, and I'm selecting, I'm selecting curve edge. And we can make the radius... 0 0.84 or there you go we have um, this polyline now I want to make the frame so I'm selecting this polyline and I'm typing on the keyboard Control shift D this will create a duplicate and I'm clicking on this point here and if you want you can move the new shape you've created but I'm going to click on the same point and this means my polyline is overlapping the one underneath so the duplicate is here and I want to drag this point a bit to for this window to appear I'm going to use offset all edges I'm going on the inside I'm typing point one 
now that you have the lines that define uh, the frame, we can actually create the frame. I'm going to slab and 30 centimeters uh, thickness is too much. So I'm going to make it, let's make it 10. So 0 0.1 and now with this polyline selected, the, the bigger one, go to slab, keep a space bar pressed and click and you will create a slab inside this shape that you have selected. So now if you want to check, you have this uh, quick selection tool activated. I'm going here, you see I have this slab. Now I want to create the hole inside. So I'm clicking on this point here because I want this window to appear. Now make sure you select subtract from polygon press the space bar and click now you have the hole if you want to see what you've done you can go to generate perspective and let's center the image so fit in window and there you go you have the frame now let's make it a different material make it word let's see vertical walnut Okay, I'm going back to my ground floor because I want to draw this line. What I will do is I will draw on the uh, on the left side and then I'm going to mirror a copy. So I'm using the same polyline, uh, the one with the red uh, pen. And I'm starting with uh, this shape here. So remember we're making, um, we're using the, the first option for the polyline, so the polygonal option and not the rectangular. And I'm clicking here. Do not mind about um, the corners because we're going to apply some curving. So you can do this or you can make them larger it's your decision basically of course means here I have to fake it a bit because I tricked it Right, I'm selecting uh, the polyline that I just done and I'm dragging from a point because I want this window to appear. Now, the second option here is fillet. Click on that and you can see the option that I have for the radius is 004. I'm gonna leave it as it is. I'm just gonna take apply to all corners and I'm gonna click OK. Now, everything that could be curved, it was curved. Now, if you, if you want, you can adjust, of course, everything. So if you want to drag an edge, you go to curve edge. So I'm curving this and curve this as well. Well, you can basically adjust uh, even after you've done it. Okay. Okay. Now, what I will teach you is how to use beam to create this shape. So I'm going here to beam. And I'm going to the settings dialog, and I would like to work with the thickness. So in the width, let's put zero one, and I want this to 
shown home only and I want this to be outlines only. And here is going to be 0, 1 as well because I want to make it of 1 centimeter. Now here, let's keep it 0 and let's make this one metal. Iron thread. And okay. Now, with this polyline selected, go to beam and select the beam. And if you hold space and click, you will generate a shape. Let's go to generate perspective to see what we have. See? So we have this shape. Now I'm going to do uh, the, all the shapes and you can follow me. Now that I have all these beams uh, created, if you want to select the, all these beams, go to beam on your left side and control A. Now we're going to create a mirror of everything that we've done. So control shift M to create a mirror. Now this is the half. So I'm just dragging a line upwards and I have a copy. Here. And because the pattern re it re is repeating itself of words, I'm going to select all the beams again. So Ctrl A and again Ctrl Shift M. I'm guessing the middle is here, but we can adjust it later anyway. So I'm clicking here on the middle side and I'm dragging um, on the right and I'm holding Shift to keep it straight. And now this is here. So after you've done uh, all the uh, beams and the frame, uh, I removed the image and I'm selecting everything that I've done here, including the polylines. It doesn't matter if you have the polylines included or not. It's not going to affect your model. I'm going to file and the libraries and objects, save selection as a door, and I'm going to make it. Yay. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Thanks to hard and save and okay. Now I have a wall here and I'm going to generate perspective. And as you can see, we can go to 
door. The last door selected is the one that we just created. And then click, and there you go. You have the seat. If you want to, you can move it in. Okay, let's type one five. And the gate is inside here. You can increase the height of the wall. And I'm making it. This is it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment below. And I'll see you in my next